Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Miss Novasad, and I will be doing the writer's workshop lesson today. We've been learning how writers generate ideas for imaginative stories based on things that happen in their lives. Today, we're going to learn how writers get ideas for imaginative stories by thinking about the stories they like to read. Before we begin, I want you to make sure you have your writing journal and a pencil ready. Our objectives for today are, we will learn how writers get ideas for imaginative stories by thinking about the stories they like to read. I will create and write a list of stories I like to read. Okay. Today I'm going to teach you how writers get ideas for imaginative stories by thinking about the stories they like to read. This is important because writers learn and grow from looking at other writers' work. Now let me show you. We often find ourselves in the stories we read. The first time I read Alvin Ho, I really felt that I was Alvin. As a child, I often felt out of place. I was anxious too. Even though Alvin struggled, his stories helped me laugh and understand myself a little better. However, there have been other times in my life when I have wished there were more stories about kids who felt out of place. Some of the times I felt out of place were going to a new school, or when something really embarrass, embarrassing happened to me, or sometimes when I'm in large family gatherings, I just feel out of place. Or when I have to do public speaking and I'm talking in front of large groups, I could write stories about times like that. Sometimes when I read traditional literature, like the story of the three little pigs, I'd like to change it up like they did in the story of the, the true story of the three little pigs, where they switched the role of the wolf being the bad guy to the pigs being the bad guy. I love this story. It cracks me up. So I was thinking about some other possible stories that I could write, changing them up. Like, for example, stories I could change would be Cinderella. I could make it be about a young man during our present time in Houston, Texas, instead of about a girl back way back when. Or the princess and the pea, where the girl sleeps on the pea underneath all the mattresses and fills it. I could make it about a pig and a pea, perhaps. Or Beauty and the Beast. Instead of the boy being the beast, the girl could be the beast. These would be, all be interesting stories. I could just switch them up, change them a little bit. Other times when I read trickster tales, like Anasi the Spider, I think of ways I could write with other characters that like to play tricks on each other. For example, I could make a story up where teachers are playing tricks on each other all over the school. That would be kind of funny to me. Or characters that play too many tricks and it backfires on them. Writers, did you see how I thought about the stories I've read? I could also think about stories I wish were written. I love to read stories and think about different things, how we could change them. But now it's your turn to try. Think of the stories you like to read. What do the stories inspire in you? Write your ideas in your writer's notebook. When you're finished, pick one idea that you listed and start imagining how the story might go. You can begin writing that story. When you're finished, turn in your work in the way that your teacher tells you to do. I hope you enjoyed this and have fun.